Hello, Joe. Nice to see you. Very well, thank you. Awesome. Uh, congrats, first of all. Thank you. Um, it was fun listening to everything earlier, just because it's, you know, <clears throat> you watch the movie and, you, you know, you, you take it in as a film, but it's also interesting to always hear, well, no, we, we made it also kind of against the odds, and, yeah. you know, and especially the part about, like, I fed people, basically, with yeah. this. Is <laughs> You forget that, like, you know, it's, it's art to you, but it, it yeah. helps to remember that, like, well, there's also people who, like, sure, it's art, but, like, they'll make anything because, like, I got to eat and pay rent. Yeah. There's a nice there's a nice sort of utilitarianism to, like, also making the art project help the world in a way. Yeah, I mean, I was aware that many of my friends and colleagues uh, who, you know, uh, 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 actors who play supporting roles or yeah. dancers or props guys... Um, uh, you know, that they weren't able to work and they weren't able to put food on the table. Uh, and so it seemed um, inherent, incumbent upon me uh, to make sure that, that that happened, you know. Yeah. And then just even, like, knowing that this is what you want to do and it being even harder. I mean, any project you'd want to do would be mm. hard, but knowing that, I, you know, to do it right requires, you know, or also to do it right, your last name version, <laughs> requires a certain scale and money and, and time. <clears throat> How do you decide that, like, I know this is what I want to do? Because it's so easy to find another project. Like, there's always another one, especially... It's not, though. It's not yeah. that easy to find a project that you can truly fall in love with. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'd been developing this script for a couple of years, and, um, and so I'd put a, a lot of passion and heart and time and thought into it. Um, and I knew that this was the film that I needed to make at this time because it's a film about human connection um, and a film about our uh, failure to connect as humans often. And, um, and I wanted to connect with audiences through the telling of that story, the kind of form matched the medium, if you like. And, and so that was, that was really important to me. It had to be this one and it had to be now. That's a good point too, because like what to my what I was saying, like I'm sure the scripts you get are what other people think you should be making, or you know, yeah. there's no shortage of people who tell you like you should make a Bond movie. You're like, yeah. great, cool, probably not what I want to do no, though. No, I mean I I certainly work from quite an emotional place, yeah. and um, uh, and so my movies are, uh, are about unpacking my own experience of the human condition and trying to figure out how to best navigate this collective experience called life. Yeah. And it's it's unique for a direct just from a director's point of view because if you're an actor, I want to deal with grief. I'll find a script about grief, yeah. you know, but if you want to have something to say you're gathering other people to say your thing. Like Kevin Smith's joke was I have something to say. I need 6 million dollars in Ben Affleck. Let's go. <laughs> and it's it's <laughs> true. Really it's like good. it's very it's very odd that, like, to tell a story, you need other people to buy into what you're feeling, even though it may just be only something you care about. For, and it's, yeah, and you need other people's permission to, to be able to tell the yeah. story that you want to tell. Uh, I sometimes wish that I was a novelist or a painter or a musician and I could just kind of get on and get up in the morning and make my work. But I do, you're right. I need other people to um, uh, facilitate the work. Yeah. And you chose such good people for this, which, I mean, it helps to know some of them. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. just having a vision for what it should be, just knowing that people like it, is yeah. that just fulfilling? Because like you said, it's it's for you at the beginning, but yeah. knowing it's, it's working. Um, it's very interesting experience, especially when people come up to me and talk to me about moments in the film that are non-verbal. Yeah and that I've managed to communicate a thought that I've had in my head through this nonverbal medium to someone else's head. Uh, that I find uh, extraordinary and gratifying and humbling. Yeah, and it's just because you're, it's going through so many other people's heads. It's yeah. going from yours, it's going to, to Peter or Haley or maybe even just like Seamus, like whoever is thinking the same thing yeah. and it connects. Yeah, it, it's almost, defying the odds like how would that work but it's yeah. the magic of the movies exactly it really is I do find it uh, totally magical and also I always try to make films that allow enough space for the audience to project their own experience yeah. you know I don't want to take up all the emotional space for them uh, I don't necessarily want to tell people how to feel 
Um, but when they share the feelings that I've, I've had, uh, that's, a, that's a really beautiful thing. And again, it's about human connection. It's about what the film is about. It's about how we, you know, need and fail and try again to connect with our fellow human being. And especially at this time, you know, uh, when we've been so uh, divorced of human connection, um, not just the pandemic, but through, you know, social media and all these kind of, you know, tools that are supposedly connecting us, but actually, I think, often alienating us from each other. Oh, yeah, it's, it's almost weird to be... You know, no, this no. close to somebody. Yeah, like, we're actually having a conversation yeah. here. <laughs> like I was like, I, my joke was, I think I'm going to sit on the floor, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'm going to have you hold the computer uh, just so I can be more comfortable. Just so we can pretend. Yeah, that we're I need the illusion typing of it. to each other. Yeah, but but I think it's it's so interesting to watch your movies because you said there, it's it's about a human connection and you're able to do it with bigger scale, smaller scale, like mm. period, modern. That's harder than I think people realize to like still have it feel. Like hit you in the heart as opposed mm. to, oh, they're not, they don't look like me. It's harder to relate. Yeah, I think that's true. And I think, you know, making sure that people truly believed in the romantic and indeed even sexual um, love between Roxanne and Cyrano, yeah. between Pete and Haley, was, was, you know, something I set out to do. And, uh, and there were there were nay, naysayers as well, you know. There were people who said, "Well, that'll never work." They 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 were. I guess their their received ideas got in the way. Yeah. Um, uh, but if one can see past, you know, if one can open the door and see past that uh, with with Pete and Haley, then one could possibly see past other sort of uh, surface. Um, uh, differences that that separate us and also you're kind of proving the point you're like so you're saying that Cyrano de Bergerac doesn't look like he should have love in his life yeah. mm, so you've you've basically told me what the movie's about yeah right absolutely yeah so you so you've never read the anything okay yeah. you're coming to this fresh yeah, but uh, uh. this means it'll work by you thinking it won't work yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I've tricked you now yeah. give me a hundred million dollars let's go <laughs> I wish yeah. the film was nowhere near that amount and uh, and it was actually made on quite a small budget, yeah. but filming in Sicily uh, in this incredible Baroque town called Notto um, uh, made the thing feel far more lavish than um, than our budget would oh, facilitate. Yeah. You, you, I mean, every movie you make, you can tell it's all on the screen. So yeah. the fact that it's more with less here is also, yeah. I feel like, even more impressive. Oh, well, good. Thank you. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. First of all, thank you for doing this, and just congrats, because I think, you know, coming back to movies as people and it being a cinematic experience is, yeah. Yeah. you know, musicals, why not? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.